Right, welcome to the final one of today's update. We're going to Sivanar again in order to infiltrate Bunker 1, but they haven't finished it yet, so we're going to have to punish them for that. This is the actual Goldeneye Bunker, but it's not all here yet, so we're going to have to violate the movie's continuity to take revenge on the Soviets for their inconsiderate ways, no doubt. This man's wearing a hat that lets him open doors. He's probably got a keycard under his hat. We'll have to murder him and find out for sure. Meanwhile, if you notice up there, you can actually see the color of the sky. It's now night, so Bond has been uh, lurking around in there for quite a while, probably trying to get himself out of that Cthuloid monstrosity that ate him in the previous update. So we'll take out this alarm here, because that would otherwise summon men, and we don't want that. And we're going to go with a pistol start, like heroes would. Yes, we are. So we'll take out this camera, because that's not particularly heroic, and neither is this man here. You, you're not a hero at all. I'm a man of greater caliber than you will ever be. Right, so that's him. And now we'll kill off our first hat-wearing gentleman, who, as I suspected, actually has a keycard, which allows him access to stuff. But now we can access his stuff. We'll probably be able to steal his music collection, and maybe even his daughter. Hooray! So we'll take that guy out over there, and then we will be ambushed from multiple directions, but firstly the same one. This man has two globs, double the comedy. Yes, he can't wound us at all, even when he does hit us. It's him taken out, and this man here is now going to attempt to further their dastardliness, but no, none of their ways. Alright, so we've got to take out all the security cameras so they can't take naughty footage of us in any way, size, shape, or form. There we go, that's that one out of the way too. And there's one more in the bunker now. These guys here are trying to guard this incompleted area of the bunker, which we will visit later in Bunker 2, but for now it is completely useless to us. Actually, if you're going for the level time, you shouldn't even go there, but uh, I'm not going for the level time, and I don't care about uh, such things. So we'll t t take these guys in here out now. They're trying to guard the computer room. Now, it's not really a computer room, it's more a two mainframes and no other equipment at all room, but never mind, eh? We'll have to just make do with what we've got here. You, sir, we're not dealing with your zaniness a minute longer, so we'll pick up these and then we'll leave, because we need to find a programmer in order to program that mainframe into giving us some stuff, no doubt. So, in here is some long-range snipery type action. We'll take out that camera there, and then we'll take out that man there who was guarding the camera, which uh, seems sort of backwards security setup, never mind. Now, the objectives in this level are a bit funky, because uh, it's quite easy to forget to do most of them. We've got a PPK here, and we've got the Golden Eye Key. There's a lot of things that you just have to do randomly, rather than um, being in some sort of order. Most of them are, in fact, in this room. So, uh, prior to that, though, we've got to go up here and we'll take out these guys, because they can otherwise screw up your attempts to exit the level. So, we'll take them out, and then we'll destroy this here button, so that they can't press it. Ah! They will never defeat us now. Right, so what we've got to do is got to take a picture of this here main view screen thing. And yes, you can take out all the individual displays on it as well. I just couldn't be bothered because I'm lazy and stupid. So, there we go. We've got a picture of the screen. I don't know why they want a picture of the screen, but apparently they also want us, rather than just stealing the golden eye key, they want us to use this key analyzer and then throw it back so that they can, uh, so that the film can happen, I guess. And also, I know someone's going to want me to do this, so there we go. Yes, you can break things. It's marvelous. Now I've got to go and find Boris. Now he actually wandered off down there, but uh, I didn't notice. So I'm going to go and have a quick check up here, but he's not there. That's dastardly of him. So let's go and search for him some more. Now, where's my random accent wheel? There we go. Spin the wheel. Okay, Boris is now Scottish. Marvellous. Right, take me to the mainframe terminal, says Bond, and Boris uh, obeys us very, very slowly while wearing his incredibly vile shirt. Don't worry, we'll cure him of being Boris later on. It will be great, and you will love it. So, let's select our data thief, which is a random circuit board. It's, in fact, a generic circuit board, as you will see in the next level when we get to that. But, uh, that is not for now. You will just have to take my word for it until then. You, you vile shorts wearing gentlemen, hurry up. We need to violate the movie's continuity, and you're not helping us. There we go, he makes his way through there, using his psychic powers to open doors. Here we go, right. Disable the security! Look, shall need take a moment, you daft bumpot. Right, he's called Programmer here, rather than Boris. Mm, the root password has been changed. The new K-N-O-C-K-E-R-S return. The computer's not been active. It actually has. Whoops, right, there we go. We've cured him of being Boris. Right, so, now then. 
We finished the download, we completed the objective, we completely fucked up the continuity, and the game isn't going to punish us for it. Marvelous! Right! These men here are Siberian Special Forces, but they're using comedy glob type weapons, so we can ignore them. They're not that special at all. Right, so make our way through the door, and here we are! We have completed the level, and we will gallop out onto the. Well, I don't know where he's going, but I'm sure he does, so that's fine by him, I guess. Right, so we completed 7 hour, we finished the bunker, and we were only 20 seconds short of the time, even with all that pissing around, so it doesn't really take much. Anyway, that's that, and next time we'll go into the silo complex in Kyrgyzstan. Oh, who cares? I've been Evil Tim, this has been uh, GoldenEye.